So the experiment you just saw is a classic experiment called the carbon pillow experiment. And it's a reaction between sulfuric acid and table sugar, which is sucrose. Now you might be wondering, what causes this reaction? And it actually has to do with the water-loving relationship of sulfuric acid and water. And so what happens is sulfuric acid wants water so much in this concentrated stage, which is around 80% sulfuric acid, it will actually rip water away from the sugar. Now you might be thinking, there's no water in table sugar. Well, there isn't, but there is water hidden in its chemical formula. Here's the chemical formula for sucrose. And as you can see, it's a one to two ratio between oxygen and hydrogen. That is what water is. And so the sulfuric acid can rip this water away from the table sugar, leaving elemental carbon behind, and that's what you see turning black. And with the water, it can hydrate itself. Now, this is the reason why there's so much steam and bubbling, is because the sulfuric acid, when hydrated, it actually increases in temperature. And the increase in temperature causes an increase in reaction rate, which will cause basically an increase and an increase and an increase until the solution bubbles over. This is called a positive feedback reaction.